This is the front side of an optical end stop. I want to show you how this works. The dental pick will be an object that actually moves into this crevice. And when the field is broken, what happens is a circuit is formed. In a moment, I'll show you the other side and how it works. Here's the back side of the optical end stop. I need to point out a couple of things. The G over here stands for ground, the S stands for signal, and the V stands for voltage. Now what I've done is I marked on this black and red so that you can pick out which side being black is ground and red is voltage. With that, we're gonna use a connector that's notched in order to create the connection to our printer motherboard. And on the other end, I've traced out the actual colors. So black is ground, red is voltage, and then blank is actually the signal. So in a moment, I'll show you how to connect it to the board. Okay, just to review, we have three sets of end stops. We have the red, the blue, and the green. Now, this is the X-min, this is the X-max, this is the Y-min, this is the Y-max, this is the Z-min, this is the Z-max. Inside here, you can see written in the back, you have voltage on the top, ground, and then signal. Those correspond to these pins. So in a moment, I'll show you how to actually connect to them. Okay, to connect it, we're gonna connect first on Zmax. So we're gonna connect the voltage, then we're gonna connect the ground, and then we're gonna connect the signal. Now to connect the USB serial cable, we're gonna connect the larger end to the board and the smaller end to the computer. And you should hear a beep. And let me show you how this works real quick. When the field is broken, the light goes out. When it's removed, the light goes back on. In a moment, I'll show you how to load the Marlin firmware. Okay, we're in the folder for Marlin 1.1. Dot eight. We're going to open that up. We're going to open up the Marlin folder. We're going to press the letter M on the keyboard. We're going to scroll down to Marlin.ino and open that up. Okay, now that we're in Marlin with the Arduino IDE, we're going to check to see if we have the right board. Now, this is the Arduino Mega. It has a similar architecture, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna verify we have a port enabled, which we do. So we're gonna go over to the configuration.h tab. We're gonna do a search on Xmin. We're then going to scroll up a little bit where it says use underscore Zmax underscore plug. We're gonna uncomment that. We're then going to scroll down and we're gonna change the end stop inverting to true. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to compile and upload. Okay, in the Pronterface folder, we're gonna open up Pronterface.exe. We're gonna to connect to the device we're going to type M119. It says that the Z max is triggered. So we have the logic reversed where we said true. It should actually be false in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actuate the end stop with a piece of paper. I'm now going to type M119 again and press enter. 
Now it says open. Now I'm going to remove the paper. And I'm going to press M119 again. And it says triggered. So if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.